So let's then now take the real example with the real figures and numbers and hopefully you will get it <laughs> better than just from a text explanation. So let's say then you are able to calculate ratio per, num per number. For example, in this, my example here is number 22 has a ratio 0 0.56. I calculate in the second step average ratio of from the all 37 numbers and let's say it is 0 0.20. Then I choose and it's up to you, for example, two sigma range which represents 95% of 0 0.20 which is our average. But I also in reality using for example even 300 percentage like my range. All is possible, it's up to you, you can test it unlimited way ways and now I am doing this I am taking average and if I take 95% of the average and add to the simply my average and destruct that then I receive the boundaries and boundaries are in this case 0 0.01 and 0 0.39 so and what does it mean? You know already, right? I don't have to say it. <laughs> okay, I will help you. So now I select all numbers having ratio either lower than 0 0.01, but uh, of course not having zero. Zero is not interesting for me. Or they have a ratio higher than 0 0.39. In this case, you have outliers. You have a numbers which are not in the range of 95% from the average. As I said, it's not exactly the standard deviation calculation. I'm just simplifying that for you and also for me. And it's still pretty much good, so it's fine. Now I am selecting four numbers out of this group of qualified numbers. For example, qualified numbers are six or eight numbers out of 37. And I take the highest ratios and uh, four numbers with height ratios are ready for play but i'm not playing immediately i recalculate all of these values every single spin and i set up my conditions as i said i have a range for example if the sum of the ratios of these four numbers is reaching certain value like five or six in my case i start to play and this is how do i apply the algorithm 3 sigma but I also use several other features of course fine-tuned money management which I also talk about during this webinar plus one more feature which I really also want to share with you later so and I, of course I can say the calculations are not so easy you have to try a little bit you have to test your own way create your ratios and so on. On the other hand, as I said, give it a try because it's really worth it. You will not regret. It's one of the strongest algorithms which you can have for predicting numbers based on my experience and my own results, right? So, and a small hint: um, if you don't know exactly how to calculate ratios, for example, so my my idea, my help for you is then consider you have a non-hit 15 spins from the number 22. You have a freq hit frequency, 3 hits in the last 50 spins, for example, if you evaluate 50 spins, you can evaluate 74, as I do. Total spins is 50, obviously. And now you can say, okay, I have these three variables, how I can calculate the ratio. You can say, okay, I will take non-hit 15 spins, I will divide them by 3, and I receive something then I multiply them with 50 spins and I have my ratio as it's just an example I don't do that this way but you always have to a little bit test what is the best division what is the best multiplication and so on what kind of variables to put together some maybe you don't need maybe total spins all is possible but it's up to you but this is some kind of help what I were testing in the past okay so and when I was preparing this presentation I actually was not sure whether you really can understand that these steps for three sigma algorithm precisely because it's important so I am ready to recap the whole process 
of calculating the three sigma algorithm for you again together with you and i will do it step by step on let's say particle slides so hopefully you can understand it even better